Darling with real meaning dot info. Part two. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Thank you, George, for giving me the idea once again. And this second video, I'm going to talk about when it says, why does, or, or why actually it says, unfortunately, launcher has stopped working. I know you guys have got that once again on your cell phones and tablets. You know, why does it say that? Why does that error come up? And even more importantly, why uh, couldn't I find a definition for it? A very strange, very evil to more, more evil than Loki, <laughs> Thor's brother. And that's pretty evil. So we're going to, I'm going to tell you actually, I'm just going to jump right in. The reason why that comes up, that uh, error message, unfortunately, launcher has stopped working is because the cash, remember, uh, I did a video on that uh, about, I think about two years ago what a cache is and every software application has it a cache is it stores data or information so we can get to it quickly and every software app even on cell phones has it sometimes that may get uh, filled up with too much information and it needs to be emptied or cleared so that may be the reason why you know you'll get that on your cell phone sometimes unfortunately app has our launcher has stopped working and stuff like that so that may be the reason why now the thing that bothers me is that depending on what type of phone you have there's like different ways to clear it and the the only thing to me that hasn't changed when i did research on this is that you go to settings <laughs> every phone says settings you know thank goodness and after that it's like they use different words for different things depending on what type of phone you have, if you have a Samsung or a LG or something, why can't it be the same? Yeah, evil like Loki. <laughs> but in order to clear it, no matter, you know, you do go to settings, of course, uh, you go to applications and then application manager or app manager, you know, sometimes different cell phones say that, and then you look for the launcher that, if it says launcher, and then you click on that and then click on clear, you know, if it gives you an option for that and then click on clear again, and if it asks you clear, are you sure you want to click on OK and stuff like that? And then you can turn your cell phone off to reset it and turn it back on again. So I hope that's a, now if because different cell phones, like I said, depending on what manufacturer it is, I don't know why they won't have it the same way like the like a, the micro, or Microsoft operating systems. No matter what type of, uh, if you have an HP, a compact, you still have the same operating system. It'll work the same way. I can't, I don't understand it won't, why it won't be that way for cell phones. But in any event, um, some cell phones, you know, you may have to go to settings and then it says apps and then menu and then reset preferences and all that other mess. If you are confused, though, I wouldn't do it by myself. I would call the cell phone people, your, your cell phone company and ask them, say, how do I reset my app launcher or clear the cache of it? And, t and, and don't hang up until they walk you through it now. That's right. Yep. Do a, a sit in almost. Yep, tell them, yep, say, no, I'm not getting off the phone. Well, I really can't. Yes, you can tell me that. I'm paying $70 a month, doggone it. Yes. <laughs> so, I hope this answers your questions. I hope this video, these videos have, have helped you guys, especially George. I, please let me know if I did okay. And if I've made you laugh and learn, please subscribe and uh, tell others about uh, my channel as well. And don't forget realmeaning.info or easydefinitions.com to make your life easier. I'm Darlene, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.